All right, guys. Okay, so I know some of you guys are new on here too, and so this may have be your very first Zoom. Um, and all of our Zooms will look different, you guys. All of our Zooms will really look different depending on what we feel is on our heart and what kind of is happening in our organization and our business. Um, but you guys have seen that over this past weekend, we did a leadership retreat. And I will tell you, my inbox was so full of um, people kind of asking like, how do I get on? How do I go to that? How do I you know, participate in it. And I will tell you, it was our very first time ever doing our leadership retreat. Um, and it was the best event or, you know, get together, you can call it, I guess, that I have ever been to. And I don't know if it was just because it was our organization, or our culture, but I will tell you that it just filled my cup up so much. And that is truly what it's about. And so what it is, is um, and then every year is going to look differently, but we had diamonds and above and not everyone was able to go, but diamonds and above come together. And, um, and then we also had, there was three point earners and anywhere from distributor to, I think, um, to Emerald. So there was a distributor and two emeralds. So it was so amazing that, and you guys, the, um, uh, Cherie, who is district, she was, she's ranked as a distributor. She just started this business, you guys. So how incredible is it that she saw the potential of this and she put her foot on the gas and she just was like, I'm going to that. And she did. And so how amazing is it? And I feel like I really want a lot of you guys to hear from her too, because, um, it just brings, it just, I feel like it shows you guys that anything is literally possible. And so what I loved about this most is that we brought everybody together and we came together as one and we filled each other up. And I will tell you guys, this business is your own business, but you are not alone in this business. You have your sponsor. And if you don't have your sponsor, you have an upline of people on your team. And if you don't have that, you have our entire organization. There's always somebody to go to who is going to help lead and guide you, who is going to love on you and care for you. Um, and I will tell you, even, you know, our triple diamond VIP, Jennifer, she's not my personally enrolled, but I remember, you know, taking her and saying like, girl, like you got, so, you got so much potential in this. Like, what do you want out of this? And I took her under my wing and she is now my own. I claim her. I have adopted her. So she's not my person enrolled, but I tell, I tell people she is my person enrolled. Um, just because like, that is what we do. We are a team. We are a family. And this past weekend was just so phenomenal, you guys. And those of you guys who have just gotten into this business, I, I will tell you, like you get into this business because of the money. Like we all are in this business because of the paycheck. That's how we started this business. But you don't realize that we are just more than money. We are a family and we are a culture and we are here for each other. We will do, we will do and be, you know, there for any one of you guys. And so I think that was one of my biggest aha moments was just, you know, coming together and really just seeing everybody just bond so amazingly and just, you know, seeing that, you know, like the culture just expand, like our, like, the love for each other. And it, it was just so phenomenal, but I really want you guys to kind of hear from, um, you know, the other people who were on it. And like I said, leaders of this business, but also, you know, all the way from somebody who just joined this business. And so, um, my biggest thing is that, you know, we have all, um, we all start where at the very beginning, right. But it's just, you know, what do we want out of this and how do we want it? And what do we want to, you know, what do we want, you know, to do, you know, with this that we have on our hands? So, um, okay. Um, let's, whoever wants to share first, um, let's see, look at this chat. Um, Jennifer, you wanted to go first. I can share. That's fine. Okay. Courtney, are you okay to take over? I'm going to go kiss my little ones. Good night. Yes, I'm good now. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. I'll be right back guys. Okay. Go ahead, Jennifer. Okie dokie. Okay, you guys, so I had multiple aha moments at this retreat. However, I know there are a ton of us who want to share our all, all of our aha moments. So I'm going to try to keep it as short and simple as possible and just share one. Um, but for me, as you all know, I am a triple diamond leader in the company. And I've been in the business for two and a half years now. But I still have my own doubts too. I know we all do. But I think it was kind of cool for other people in the in the team to kind of hear from me that I also have self-doubt and fears. 
And so for me, my aha moment was just realizing for myself that I too need to get out of my own head because at the end of the day, we are all our own biggest critics. And then um, every time one of us thought something negative about ourselves, someone always came back with something positive to say. So for me, like an example was, I needed to hear how people look up to me, how they can relate to my story and my struggle. And I needed to hear how I inspire others. And then in turn, what that did for me is it's helped me reevaluate my own thinking. And it just helped me reevaluate my own thinking towards myself and my leadership. And then um, I'm just going to end it with this so the next person can share that there is like what I took away is that there's no right or wrong way to lead our team. We're all students in leadership. And so we're all constantly learning. Okay. And there are levels to leaderships and we just have to trust the process and keep trying new things and ways to improve. And then we just need to become the leader that we want to follow. So that's my aha moment. Get out of my own head and just realize that there are so many people who do look up to me and that I just need to keep spreading the word, sharing my story, sharing my struggle, because at the end of the day, I think people need to hear that and they're just going to relate and it's going to impact them. I love that so, so much. Um, I remember Cammie telling us, um, so no, it wasn't Cammie. It was, um, oh, why am I spacing? Cam. Cam. So we got, the, we talked to Pam and Cammie. They came in and did live um, Zooms with us. And I remember her saying like, we don't get there by chance. We get there by choice. And it's a choice each day to learn, to grow. And it really is. We are in a business of like building ourselves. It's a, it's a network marketing business, but it's a business of building people. And I just love that. And Jennifer, you're such a huge testament of that. I loved um, seeing your growth this weekend and, you know, seeing you break some of those barriers. So that was amazing. Um, I know Alyssa wanted to jump on and be um, towards the beginning. Alyssa, are you ready? Perfect. Okay, go ahead, honey. Okay. Hello, all you beautiful people. Um, and why don't, as you guys jump on, why don't you um, tell your rank? Um, and Jennifer, everyone knows Jennifer is a triple diamond. Um, so just tell your rank, um, maybe where you're from and how long you've been in the business. Perfect. So I am a double diamond leader. Um, I've been in the business for almost one year. Uh, July 17th will be a year. And it's actually honestly gone by so fast. It's incredible. Um, my biggest aha moment this weekend was just realizing that we are all human and everybody has fears. Because most of the time you just, you see like all these double, triple presidential big time leaders that they just put like, they're just, there's nothing wrong. You know, that like everything's always positive and everything's always so great. And you don't realize that no matter what, whoever you are, everyone does have fears and struggles. So it was really cool seeing um, everybody just be vulnerable and just, tell everybody about it, which was kind of made me feel better about myself too. Of course, nobody wants to share their fears all the time, you know, cause you always want to be, <laughs> thanks for it. Love you. Um, everyone always just wants to be strong, of course, you know, for Facebook or whatever it is, but that's what draws people to us is being vulnerable and being able to cry. Like I always do, but <laughs> that's just because I'm pregnant and I'm emotional. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Um, but yeah, you know, it was just nice seeing how everyone came together and was able to help each other once we, once we heard each other's fears and our doubts about the business and so forth. I love that so much, honey, and I love you so much. Um, I think we all like feel like sometimes we're the only ones going through something or we're the only one that has like 3000 volume to get after the 25th or we're the only one that has a leg that's crumbling or we're the only one that, you know, has kids that we have to like wrangle all day long or whatever it might be that we're going through. And then it's so nice to hear people get vulnerable and say like, we're doing this too. Like we're all in this together. Together we rise. I really love that. That resonated with me this weekend is like together we rise and there's going to be ebbs and flows in this business all the time. We're um, going to lose volume. We're going to have months where they're super high volume, we're going to lose DTs. You know, those DTs that come to us at diamond might not be there when we go double diamond. And that's okay because that was a stepping stone to get us to where we needed to be. 
And then we just keep growing and growing. So I loved being able to hear everyone's story and everyone get vulnerable and us just learn from that. It was so amazing. Um, so you're awesome, babe. Double diamond in less than a year. Incredible. And your husband is about to be double diamond. So she's got a diamond and a double diamond under her belt in less than a year in this business and about to have three kids. So you're just such a testament of being consistent and believing in yourself and just rocking your business. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Okay. Who wants to be up next? Freya, do you want to go? Yeah, I can go. Okay. So what I took from this weekend is that um, pretty much it's, it's kind of crazy. We all kind of took the same things. <laughs> um, I love that we all got to be very vulnerable. Um, we were all um, brutally honest about our fears, what we were terrified of what um, made us scared. Um, and then the best part was, is that we burned them and we let them go. And so they can't hold us back. And that was absolutely liberating for me because I was able to say, you know, I just can't, they just can't hold me back anymore. Um, it was completely amazing but it was good to just, and it wasn't just like, it wasn't just like throwing it in the fire, just saying it, but it was just, it was absolutely, um, spiritually lightning to just write it down and just literally sit there with that group of women and just let it go. Um, so, and then to just be around all of the all of the women that were there and to just sit and chat and pick brains and, and just get the nuggets that we could get from one another. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of itty bitty little pieces of nuggets I was able to get from Jennifer and Alyssa and Courtney and Amanda. I mean, Amanda gave me her cell phone. I could have like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I literally sat and listened to, you know, a whole DT voicemail, you know, voice text conversation that she had so that I could hear exactly how she, how she works through a DT conversation. It was amazing to hear her just to hear it happen. And so it, I mean, it was just, it was just an amazing weekend. And so, you know, I know I can do anything because you guys do it. And so, and we all do it. And that was, that was my aha moment. If you guys can do it, I can do it. And if we can do it, anyone can do it because we do it together. And so that was the best part because we support each other through it all. So it was amazing. I love that. And it just goes to show oh, like no, one no. team, one mission. Allison, it was on Sunday. You had already left for the airport darn it. But I just love that. And any given time, like if you were to reach out to any one of us, like, Hey, can you send me over a voice text? Because you can copy and paste your voice text from messenger into other people. So don't be afraid to reach out to your leader and say, Hey, like I'm struggling when it comes to DTs. Like, can you send me over your verbiage that you're using? And it's going to change for each person. But the more we get comfortable when I first started, probably up until I went diamond and still sometimes I'll reach out to Amanda, like, how would you respond to this? What would you do? Because sometimes we just get in our own heads of, are we saying the right thing? So that's what I love so much about just the culture and the one mission mindset of this business. And I wanted to say one more thing is that I too loved um, when we were able to write down our fears because it's so important. Our thoughts have power and it's so important to recognize that we're thinking certain things and give it life for just a few seconds. I'm scared I'm going to drop rank. I'm scared that I am not going to be able to provide for my family. I'm scared I'm going to fail. Whatever those fears might be, um, give it life for a few seconds and then shed them. Shed them and say, you hold no space anymore in my life. Um, write them down, speak them, let them go. And that is such a huge part of our process of evolving and growing as people. And you're you might have to do that daily. If you have fears, you know, that, that want to stay stuck. 
Um, and that's not a sign of weakness, that's a sign of growing and becoming, you know, better and stronger. Um, so I just love that. I love that activity so much. And we found out like a lot of our same fears we all have. And it was so amazing to just hear people, you know, and talk, talk it through and give advice and give hugs. And yeah, it was incredible. And Freya, we do love you. Freya was able to tell her story, you know, about her oldest daughter. Um, you guys will probably hear it throughout her time, you know, on the team page or in Zooms, but it was just incredible. So thank you, honey. I appreciate you and all your nuggets that you give us. Okay, who wants You're to be welcome. up next? We have Rachel, we have Ashley. Ash, are you on? You want me to go? I can go. Yeah, go ahead, Rachel. That would be awesome. Okay, so I'm Rachel. I've been in the business for four years, um, and I'm a triple diamond. And this weekend was so awesome. So I've been in it for a long time, but I have not seen so much unity in a team than this last weekend. Like, and there's literally not one bad thing I can say about anybody that was there. I just feel like we all grew so close and we just all took so much from this experience. And, um, anyways, I learned a lot about myself too, as far as like speaking in front of people, like I hate to do it, you know, <laughs> but it's just like, I feel like I just grew so much while I was there. You know, I burned that that um fear in the fire about public speaking and um it was just it was just incredible but one of my favorite parts too was um when we spoke with cammy and everything that she was saying so she said like include your family in it for, to find balance um so she said like one of the leaders will literally turn off i think it was jade cooper she said um, she would like turn off her phone or turn it on airplane mode, you know, while she was hanging out with the family or, you know, she would have like her separate moments when she would work the business. And then this time would be specified for, um, you know, your team. This would be like for your own personal work. And I feel like just with summer and with seasons changing and things like that, we need to have that schedule in our lives. And so I loved that she said that I even brought that back home to my husband and I told him like, hey, you know, this is what we're going to start doing now. You know, when it's me and you time, my phone's off. When it's me and you and the kids time, because we want it all. Like, I want it all. I want to have a good, good marriage. I want to have a good, you know, family life at home. I want to have um, an awesome, booming business. And I want my team to also know that I'm there for them at the same time. So I absolutely loved that she said, include the family. Um, but yeah, I mostly just loved, like, getting to know everybody I just feel like we have such a good group of leaders on our team and I was just really impressed by everybody. So those are kind of my aha moments. I love that you brought that up, Rach, so much um, because I feel like sometimes you hear people say like, I feel like I'm on my phone all the time and we really are. This business is not meant for that. We're not using our business or our time properly if you feel like you're on your phone all the time. And Jade, she said, when she went ambassador, she felt like she was on her phone for like 18 hours and she was like, something has to give, you know, a message would come in and she felt like she had to answer it right away. Um, a customer would call or message and she felt like she had to like respond. Um, and so, yeah, she gave her family a three hour block from four to seven airplane mode. So if she wanted to take pictures, she could, but she wasn't answering text. She wasn't getting on, um, the phone with anyone. She was having time with her family. And then her husband got a block um, after the kids went to bed and then she got to work. Um, and then in the morning time, like she was answering, you know, stuff through voice text for her team, um, doing team stuff. But in the nighttime was when she worked, she worked her business. She didn't do anything for her team. She did stuff for her business. And I felt like, gosh, that's so great. We do, we need that rejuvenating time. It's like running a marathon. You could never run a marathon for like five days straight, you'd have to stop. You need to get water. You need to rest. Like we were not superhuman. And you know what, you know, what you'll find is those resting times. You're going to be so excited to get back to your business. You're going to be like, okay, I had a three hour break, a four hour break by the time you put in husband time. And then I'm ready to rock it again. You know, I've had that little break to, to clear my mind and I'm ready to jump back in. So I encourage you guys all to do that. Um, it, it'll change your life. You know, pick your times that you're going to work. 
make your six list and make sure you get through that, but pick when that's gonna be happening each day. So Rach, I love that you brought that up. All right, who is next? Who wants to go next? <laughs> Ash, do you wanna go? Yes, I'll go. I love that we got to meet Ashley. She was one of our point earners and she is so sweet and so real. So I can't wait for her to introduce herself and to get like a different perspective of how she enjoyed this last weekend. So I loved it. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I did learn a lot. See, I, I don't do, uh, I don't do, oh my gosh, I don't do, um, I'm sorry. I got like a double earache and I'm in a lot of pain. So my Oh my mind... gosh. I'm so sorry from the plane. Yes. I don't know what it was, but I just, I went to the hospital earlier. They did all kind of draining and I'm like, but, uh, uh, so what is that? Oh my God. My Let us know your rank and how long you've been in the business. Um, so I started January 11th. I'm Emerald right now trying to get to diamond, but you know, I'm just going to keep going until I do. Um, I'm probably going to keep my Emerald this month, just seeing things, but you know, I'm going to keep pushing, but so I don't do any kind of, what is the word? Why can I think of it right now? Uh, self-development. So self-development? <laughs> yes, self-development. I don't do any of that right now. I've never been the one to do it. So I don't know, something just clicked in me this weekend and I'm going to set, I'm going to set down. I looked up all kinds of stuff today and I'm going to start somewhere. I'm going to start somewhere. And a big thing with me also was scheduling. Like try, I need to get my schedule down, self-development. I need to just start. Something got into me this weekend because believe me, there's a lot of people I talk to that try to get me to do this stuff. And I'm like, no, it's just not me, <laughs> but I'm going to get it. I'm going to do it. Cause I think it would help me. I do. There's parts of me that need it. So, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely my issue. Self-development and scheduling. So, so that's what I, that's mainly my thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> you guys. I love that. No, and I hope you feel better. Thank you so much for jumping on because I know too, like when I first joined, you wouldn't have caught me dead, like trying to get on a Zoom. I would have been so nervous. So I love <laughs> that you're taking chance, chances and growing and getting out of your fears. And I love that you said self-development because honestly, like that wasn't something I did right away. And that was probably why, like for the first year in this business, my highest paycheck was like 50 or 60 bucks my whole first year in this business. Um, and it's amazing what self-development will do. You know, you'll have more confidence. You'll have, you know, when those little and when those big things come in life, you're going to be able to not stay down as long. You're going to be able to rise above them. You're going to be able to encourage other people to do that too. So that was a huge game changer for my business too. So I feel like that is amazing, Ash, that you're learning that so early in the business because it's only going to be such like a benefit to you over the long run. So right, right. And yeah. I agree. So something finally made me see that this weekend. That, and I just need to get on a schedule during the week. You know, definitely what everybody's talking about. That's my, I need to sit down. Like there was a week where I did, I had a good schedule and I did the business every day for like an hour and 20 minutes. And it went good. It went really good. I don't know what happened. So I need to get back on that routine. So. I can't hear nobody. I love how Pam was talking about in her Zoom about, you know, creating a schedule and sticking to it. But she also talked about like creating boundaries, creating boundaries for our work time, creating boundaries for our family time. Um, she was also talking about, you know, sometimes we'll use, um, you know, our husbands or our kids or our other job or how busy life is as our excuses. And we can't do that. Like we have to use it as like our reason why we're going to do stuff. We have to use it as our, our reason we're powering through those things. Um, and I love that because that was kind of an eye opener to me of like, sometimes my schedule is crazy. I have four kids. I have a newborn that I'm supposed to lead a Zoom today and he's screaming right before I'm starting, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So it's easy to say like someone else take over the Zoom, but no, like we're doing it for our family. Um, so it's good to have those boundaries and it's good to have those conversations of like, this is my goal. Like I want to be making 500 bucks a month. I want to be making 2000 and this is what yes. I'm going to do to do that and stick to it. And you will see like so many blessings come from that. Um, no one's doing anything different in this business. It's just the consistency. That's such a huge part. So 
Ash, you're amazing. You're a huge enroller. We're so blessed to have you on this team and we can't wait to hear from you. Um, yes. The main thing with me is I have learned. So I had somebody come out of the woodworks today and was like, so, and you know, I didn't ever post about the business too much, but this week I'm like, it's all going to be about the business, 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 because, um, I need some runners under me. So I had a girl just message me a few hours ago. She's like, Hey, um, can I sign up tomorrow? Can I join it? I got the $99. And I'm like, Oh yes. So happy. I hope it goes through. And I think that all has something to do with me just being consistent. You know what I mean? Just keep, po I've been posting all week because I've had three people, but her, she's like, I got the $99. Let's do this tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. I love that you said that too, because a lot of times we feel like, gosh, we're doing something for weeks at a time and we're not getting any traction. And then the, the human part of us wants to just stop. Like we're not, we're not getting traction, so it must not be working. But what we don't realize is we're planting those seeds and it takes people a while to consistently see our story, to consistently see what we're doing. They're watching us. And then next month or the month after that, or I've had DTs watch me for, or a potential watch me for a year before they sign. We just never know. But if we stop, like we're losing that opportunity of them maybe signing with someone else. So I love that. Um, yes. The seeds you plant today is not going to make the fruit tomorrow. It's going to make the fruit, you know, months down the road. But we have to keep sowing and tilling and toiling that ground in order for it to grow. So you're right. awesome. Thank you so much for your nuggets. And I hope you thank feel you. better. Yes, I will. Thank you. And thank you, Amanda, for letting me meet all these people this weekend. It was amazing. We enjoyed thank it. You. <laughs> okay, Britt Nicole, are you on? Yeah, I'm on. Okay, do you want to go, honey? Sure. Okay, I'm go ahead and tell us how long you've been in the business <laughs> and your rank. <laughs> okay, um, I have been in since October, so we're a little over a year and a half. Um, I'm a diamond, and my aha moment for the this last weekend was one of the other activities. So I know someone mentioned the fears. Um, one of the other activities that we had was, I don't, I'm sure all of you guys saw it, but we got like a picture of ourselves and, um, we were able to write on everybody else's of what we thought of them, like how they inspired us and stuff like that. And, um, we, like when we got ours back, what we had to do is we had like a plain white hat and we had to figure out like what we saw most um, within like our thing that we felt that we were not. So like there was a couple that had like a visionary. Um, there were some people that wrote like influence on their hat. I had strength and it just felt good seeing that like those, like your teammates thought that of you because I would have never have guessed strong for myself. I don't, not very like positive in my own mind. So like to know what other people think about you was just awesome. Um, and I think it helps also if, I don't know if all of you guys took that test. I know a lot of us did, but there was a test we were posting on the team page today. So I think um, if you didn't do that, that would be really good to do because it kind of just explained your personality more in depth. So um, that was one of my aha moments. And I liked also the fact that Cammie and Pam, and I think it was Cindy, like took out their own time to like personally come to like our retreat and do Zooms with us and um, like pour into us. So those were like probably my two favorite things on top of like us feeling like a team. We feel like we know each other a hundred percent just through social media. And then you get there and it's just a whole nother life. And it's crazy how close we got. So those were my aha moments, but I loved it. And it's definitely something that I'll never forget. I see Ashley's face. Oh, I'm talking <laughs> and I'm <laughs> muted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing it. I love it. I was going to say, I know Courtney got muted because I was like, I've been seeing Ashley the whole time. <laughs> oh, this so is my funny. season in life where I'm like running on fumes and not knowing what I'm doing. Um, I love that because I do. I think we're our own worst critics. So it was like so amazing to see that like even at the end of the day when we're like, did we even make a difference today? Did we, you know, we know that we are and the little things that we're doing matter. They matter for our family. They matter for our team. 
they matter for, you know, the future people we're bringing onto our business because we're sticking with it and we're paving the way. So I love that, Britt. And I, I also love the um, Zooms too, of just knowing that like we do have choices and it's up to us. Like things don't happen by chance. They happen by choice. And it's going to be little choices each day that are going to propel us, you know, to our goals. And, you know, Ashley had said, you know, I'm going to maintain Emerald this month. And that is completely good. You know, like sometimes we're going to drop um, BV some months, but as long as we're doing our steps each day and as long as we're growing and as long as we're being a student of learning um, and trying to be better, like our, our business is going to be blessed. So we have to be less hard on ourselves and just learn, like follow those people that are doing super awesome. You know, we all had opportunities to talk to people this week um, or this weekend and get ideas and get tips. And that's, you are the five people you hang around. So if you, if you want to be where someone's at, we have to hang around and follow and connect with people that are already there. Um, and that, that was one thing I learned. And so that was so awesome. I love that. What was your, your word was strength. Sorry. Yeah, it was strength. I was trying to respond in the chat. Yeah, it was strength. I love that definitely not what I would have uh, suspected. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I was reading like some of the responses right now. And like Freya was saying, it's like really awesome to see what people hear about you, but it's also like, I don't know what she said, like frightening. I think like, it's just not something you suspected and it's hard hearing it because we've just, we're human and we don't take compliments very well. At least I know I don't. So I remember it was when we good. were great. Yeah. And I remember when we were burning our fears, like people were like, it was resounding people saying like, I just don't feel like I'm worth it. I just don't feel like I'm worthy of this. And like, I was like, so sad with that because sometimes we do feel that when we're tired, when we're overworked, maybe we don't have, you know, family or friends that support us. And I loved what Pam said about that too, is that we don't need that. We don't need to have that support. We can do this on our own and we can. Um, and I think for a long time, like, you know, I grew up like always wanting people's approval and always wanting people on board with me and always wanting to make people happy. Um, and we can, we can do this on our own. We can do this. Um, she was saying too, that sometimes, you know, we think that just cause we have our business, that trials aren't going to happen, that you're going to be in this business and life is just not going to happen. And life is still happening as if I was working as a teacher, as if I had a normal nine to five. So she's like, why don't we think that there's going to be trials, that there's going to be deaths, that there's going to be hard things, that there's going to be struggles in marriages and families. And that was like an aha to me because we would do the same thing. Like we, we would still get up in the morning and go to work. So we have to do the same with our business. If there's something, you know, that's stressful, we have to figure out, okay, reach up to our upline or reach up to a sideline sister and say like, I'm struggling with this. What would you do? You know? And get ourselves back in the game because it's so easy when we're our own boss to let that two hours of feeling sad turn into like two days and hopefully not two weeks, but it's happened before with people. So um, just knowing that life is going to happen in this business, just as if life would happen if we weren't in this business and still choosing to work and, and treat this like a job. Yes, self-discipline is so hard, Val. Val, with that, I'm going to let you take the mic because I feel like you had so many great nuggets this weekend. Um, and you have been doing so many amazing things with your team too, Val, of getting more discipline and getting um, a schedule that's working for your family. So go ahead and take it, babe. Thanks, guys. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm Valerie Green. I am Ambassador 2021, but right now I am Double Diamond. So um, I literally felt like every moment of this weekend was like an aha moment. I mean, from the minute Amanda picked me up on Thursday, I went in a day early and I got to stay with her and her family and just like stay in the casita that we always get to see on these Zooms. And I felt like I was like in like a celebrity suite, right? Like it was just so crazy to like sit on that couch and to like be in that room. It was nuts. But and then like to just do like the whole weekend, the trip, I mean, there was just so many things that I was internally struggling with when I went that I didn't really know. 
And then, I mean, I was like a ball of emotion the entire weekend because I was like so determined to confront all of these fears. And I think the biggest aha for me, despite all the things that I took away and that I learned when I was there, was just the fact that our like top people in the company took time to just pour into us, like not did like a whole Zoom with the entire company, but they came to our leadership retreat. Like Pam Souter called in and did a Zoom with us. Cammy did a Zoom with us. Cindy Mark's wife recorded a special video like addressing us. And I just thought like, wow, like what a great company. I don't think there is any other company out there that would be so personal like that, you know? And um, I just, I don't know, like I came home a different person, a completely different person. Like I'm so just grateful and happy and I feel like really excited again to like dive back into the business. And I think that's why like staying close to the fire is so important because I mean, you guys, I do Zooms every week. I'm on the weekly Zooms all the time, but sometimes that's just not enough, you know? like. It's really not. And we talked about like self-development and filling up like our own cups. And it is so important because I'm constantly pouring into my team. But like one thing I lacked at home was somebody like pouring into me, you know, and that's something that I learned to address at the retreat that I would not have learned otherwise. And I came home and I did exactly what, you know, was recommended. And it's like a whole new ball game over here. So, I mean, hopefully you know, things stay that way. But if not, at least I know how to like get back on the the right track again. So it was just, I mean, I'm like on a high, just like I was from conference. Like I'm getting a little sleepy today. So I think I'm finally coming down, but I mean, it was just magical. It really was. So thank you so much, Amanda. That's it. <laughs> I love you. Love you. I love that so much, Val. And just to see like you grow in the last year has just been amazing too. I just love you to pieces. <sighs> and yeah, it goes to show about our corporate team of just oh taking, the, taking the time to pour into us, to allow us to ask questions, um, to allow us to be vulnerable, um, to tell to th for them to be vulnerable with us too and let them know let us know you know that they've been in similar situations and how they overcame that I don't know who hey Amanda can you mute everyone babe go thank you okay so I think we have Katie are you on babe yes I am yay I'm here <laughs> all right Go ahead and take it, honey. Okay, so I took two things specifically away from the um, top leaders that came in and did our, like a Zoom with us. So the one thing that I really took away from Cammie's visit with us was um, we asked her, because a lot of us I think were struggling with finding that balance, that balance between work life and family life and spouse wife, which a couple of people have talked about, but I really like her truthful answer of like, sometimes you're not going to find balance. Sometimes it's, it's not going to be balanced and it's okay to feel that unbalance. Um, and I think sometimes that's really uncomfortable. I know it's uncomfortable for me. Um, so that was really powerful to me. It spoke to me. Um, and then when Pam was on, I think this is another thing that a lot of us were, were thinking about. Um, we, a lot of us have, um, people on our legs that either stopped working after they started or never really started. And we've kind of picked them up um, by their bootstraps and kind of carried them along because, you know, that's what we need to maintain rank. And so I definitely fall in that category. Um, I'm a diamond right now. Um, and that's just part of the business. And I like what Pam says is, it's okay to let people go. It's okay to say and be blunt with people that are not working. Like, hey, you need to either jump in with me on this, or if you don't want to, that's okay, but I'm going to move on without you. And so I think that, um, that is something that I struggle with sometimes because I want to help people. I definitely have that part of me, and, and I struggle with self-development for that reason. 
I'm always helping other people. I'm always looking out for other people, but sometimes you need to look out for you and you have to be your own number one sometimes. And so, um, and then my last aha is that it's, it's okay. This, this business is moldable no matter what you do. And so Courtney, I know that you asked me when we started the weekend, like if we can replace your income, um, your teacher salary, are you going to leave teaching? And, and that made me really stop and think because, um, and I, I came to the realization that I'm not going to stop because education is where my heart is. And, and that's a part of me. And so, but that was a good realization for me to have. And then trying to figure out and go back and say, okay, this is how I'm going to intentionally schedule my time for this and this, and then fitting it all in with that scheduling piece. So that's my ahas. I love that. And I, it made me think just now because she was talking about, you know, the balancing thing and us having that mom guilt. And she's like, there's never going to be a time you don't have the mom guilt. It's just learning to sit in that mom guilt. And that was like refreshing for me because I, you know, I have my oldest daughters half the time. They're from my previous husband. I have two little ones. It's like trying to manage four kids and manage a business and um, manage a, a marriage and manage cleaning and you never feel balanced. And she just gave us the permission to be okay with that. Like, we're not like, we're never going to find that balance. So stop holding that perfectionism up, you know, so high where it just drains you and makes you feel like less of a person each day and focus on the things you can. And she even said like, when you're making an income, like double diamond or triple diamond, you might have someone come and clean your house for a week because that's something that stresses you out. Or you might have someone come and do your laundry or, you know, whatever it might be that's like causing one of your stressors, like find a solution for it that's going to help you because time is money. Um, and if it takes you several hours a day to clean your house, like, and you can be making several hundred dollars working your business, you know, it might be, that might be a better option. So I love that. I love just getting wisdom. Um, those of you that don't know Cammy, she um, was a black diamond. She's been in the industry for years and years and years, very successful building teams. Um, so I just love getting, and she's also a single mom um, of her kiddos. So I just love getting her advice because she's been there. She's been at the top, you know, she's a mom. So she knows, she knows what we're going through. So thank you, Katie. I love those. All right. Did I get everyone that was on the list? I'm going to double check my list real quick. Um, I saw that Tiff was on and Brittany, did any of you guys want to go? Um, Cause I would love to have you guys share if you did. Yeah. We've gone through everyone that told me that they wanted to speak except for Amanda, which we'll let her um, talk real quick at the end. Does anyone else want to share their aha? Michelle, I didn't hear. Michelle, do you want to talk? Cherie wasn't able to. Um, Michelle, Cherie, did you want to give an aha? Yeah, I can. Sorry, okay. I was trying to charge my phone at the same time. Can you guys hear me? Yes, go ahead. Oh, perfect. Let me get a light on in here. Um, my aha moment was, all right got to get my light on um very similar to katie's um was with having cammy get on and being so real and raw with us um sometimes not that we want to sugarcoat things but we do try to keep like you know um everything positive and you know just making sure that we're all trying to row in the right direction and to try to get um you know each of us to to can always be thinking positive, you know what I mean? Always having a positive mindset, kind of blocking out the negative, um, which is good. But I think like with Cammy and knowing that she is, you know, our top leader and she is leading, you know, helping lead the company to hear her be real and raw with 22 people directly, not, not the whole United States, not globally, not, you know, but with us personally and just let us know, Hey, sometimes we don't have balance. Sometimes it's not going to be, you know, all sugar cookies and, you know, and happy dancing um, throughout our business and how to pick ourselves back up. Um, and that sometimes it's, it is okay to let people go. You know, there's nothing wrong with you building your business and knowing that those people cannot come with you. 
So a lot of times um, I'm one of them as well. Um, you know, I've been carrying people, carrying people, carrying, you know, and some, some people, you know, message me every month and say, this is what I'm doing. I'm ready to rock. I hear from them for about the first week. And then I never hear from them again, you know, the rest of the month until, you know, but I, I want, I want everybody to, to see the vision that I see. Um, and so I say, okay, let's do this, you know, and then I'm back in like a revolving circle but that it doesn't make us bad leaders or it doesn't make us bad in biz building our business to let those people go until they're ready to catch their vision. Because I do feel sometimes we do hold people's hands um, for far too long um, and it hurts us in the end. Um, so I know that a lot of people can attest to that as well. Um, and just the fact of having Pam, you know, the queen of everything, um, speak to us directly love on us, you know, share moments with us, allow us to, to ask questions and, and get those things answered, um, you know, is really powerful because sometimes when you look at our company as a whole, um, we're like this little tiny, you know, we're like these little tiny people at the whole bottom of the totem pole. Sometimes you don't feel like maybe you're seen. Um, and one of the things that was really powerful for me is like, I felt like we were seen, you know, Amanda has really paved the way for us to be seen. Um, and that's how it starts is that one person has to get to ambassador and then all of a sudden, boom, Amanda's on everything. Boom. Her team is on everything. And then everybody's looking at us as people, you know, who's next, who's next. Amanda's team's rocking. Amanda's team's doing this. Um, and then she's pulling those people up with her. And I think that that's what it's all about is um, paving the way for the, for the next people. And somebody mentioned in the chat that you are um, the five people who you hang out with, um, you know, that's me. So that means I'm next. And that's why I put in the chat. Like, you know, I maybe didn't get there last month. Maybe I didn't get there the month before, but I know that I'm next because I haven't stopped. Um, and that allows us to, to have hope and, and to keep going to know that so many people go through the exact same challenges we go through. But if you just keep going, you're next because it's inevitable. I love that so much. I love you so stinking much. I can't even like Thank you. say that. I, I love, just love you. you. <laughs> we had our babies there together. They're going to yes. get married one day. <laughs> um, I want to, I want to piggyback off a few things you said because it was so powerful. And someone had mentioned in the comments, like, I want to get there. I just don't know if I ever will. And I want to say, I feel like we all felt that way. And I feel like what Michelle said is so like amazing because you don't have to know it all right now. You just have to follow what we know is working, what we know is getting people to where they need to go. Like I keep telling my team all the time, like we had the most incredible opportunity to have so many diamonds and double diamonds and triple diamonds and ambassadors that are so integrated into this team and are giving um, their daily one team, one mission nuggets to everyone, sharing posts, sharing things that are working because a lot of companies and a lot of teams don't have that. And you know that if you're doing things that they're doing, it's only a matter of time as you're doing your self-development that you're going to get there. So we, most of us started for like 200 bucks a month because that's all we thought like we could do. Like I've done other network marketing things, you know, and made like 50 bucks a month. So I was like, oh, 200 would be nice. And then you realize as you're growing and as you're learning, gosh, I can bless other people. I see so many people on social media struggling. I want to bless that mama. I see so many people on social media wanting to lose weight or feeling um, sick because of things that are going on with their body. I want to bless them, you know? So as we're growing and as we're trying products and as we're learning, we're then able to like help other people. And that's like the secret sauce. And that's the beauty of this is, we don't have to know it all at once. We're, we're just evolving as we're learning. But what we do have to do is show up every day. We have to be that student. We have to, if Amanda's saying like this post works, we have to stick to that post and try it out. Not say, oh, it's not going to work for me. At least try it before we're like changing everything up, um, you know. So follow those people that are where you want to be. And I promise you, if you're consistent, you're going to be there. And we can all raise our hand. Drop a one. Drop a one if you came into here with doubts. And as you followed what people were doing, you're now at the rank that you've been wanting to be at. Drop a one. Everybody. I, I love seeing the one, one, one. So it's just continuing to show up even when you're doubting, even when you're tired 
even when you're, you feel like your leg is crumbling, even when you feel like you have no customers, it's showing up, it's doing those tasks that we know that work. If you don't have a six list, we got to get you on a six list. If you're not tuning into Zooms, we got to get you tuning into Zooms. If you're not reaching out to your enroller, if you don't have an enroller, let's find you someone that you can lock arms with because together we rise. And I love that. I feel like that needs to be like a quote that's on our page because I get so much from all of you guys every single day. Um, so thank you, Michelle. You pointed out so many things and I, I just love that. So you're amazing. You're, you're our next thank diamond you. and you just claimed it. You're like, I know I'm going to be there because you guys are all here right. and I'm hanging out with you and I'm learning and I'm growing. And it's been such, such a beautiful thing to see you grow just in the last couple of months. Like Amanda and I get emotional about it all the time. Well, it's uh, my two year anniversary today. And I wrote down that I'm ambassador bound. So, you know, if I would have started two years ago when Amanda asked me, I would probably already be there. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh yes, the woulda, coulda, shoulda, but the thing I is know. can start now. And that's I know, right, so I just gotta keep going, right. <laughs> okay, we have just a few more minutes. I wanna hear a few more ahas. I see that Rachel Wilkins, you're on. Britt, Brittany, you're on. Do you guys wanna give a quick aha real quick or anybody else? Yeah, I'll go. Okay, perfect. Show us your face though. Okay. <laughs> there you are. Yes, hi. <laughs> I'm in a swatch right here. It's like really weird from being in there. Okay, let us know how long you've All been right. in so, and your rank. Okay, so I have been in for, it's a little over a year, like in probably like a year and like three months. Um, and I am a double diamond. Um, from this weekend, I think the biggest thing was, is like, it, it's with Cammie and uh, she was saying, cause we, we were asking like, what do you do to um, help motivate your team? And when like life happens and it was kind of what she said, it was just like, welcome to life. You know what I mean? It's like, um, why does everybody think that uh, we can't have problems in this business and that we can't um, get to where we want to go because life happens. And then, so like the first thing that happens when something goes wrong in our life is our business fails and goes down the drain and we just set it down for a second, but it shouldn't be that way because we started this business for a reason. We started this business to get where we want to be and for our goals. And then just stop, just stopping gets us nowhere and it just backtracks it and we don't get there. And so it's kind of just like, if, we start, if we were having a regular job, if we went to, we had our normal nine to five, um, if we got in a fight with our husband, it's, we just don't get to not show up to work that day. You know what I mean? If our kids are sick or fighting, we just don't get to not show up. Like we have to still go to work. So it's just like, why, when we do this, why do we put that on the back burner? Like we still have to show up to get there. And just that, just like, I don't know, that just resonated with me because you just can't stop. Yeah, I love that so much. And I loved when she said, God doesn't have problems, he has plans. God doesn't have these huge trials mm -hmm. that he's putting in for us. It's a way for us to grow. And sometimes we're having these trials for ourselves and sometimes we're having them so we can lift others and show them that there's a way out. If you follow Rachel Hollis, like, I can use her quote, like we can show her that the show people that these mountains can be moved and you can carry these suitcases and help people unpack them because you've been there. Um, and what a powerful thing. So that, that is a huge thing. I was talking to, to you guys in the car when I was about to drop you off at the airport and saying like, you know, Freya was mentioning so many people are hurting. So many people are depressed. So many people are not wanting to get out of bed and thank goodness for this opportunity where when stuff is hard in our lives. Like we don't sit there for a long time. Like we know what we can do. I think it was Val that said it, but it might've been someone else tonight. Like we know what we can do to get back on track. We know what we can do to um, get to where we want to want to be. So we don't have to sit there long. Whereas years ago, we might have done that. We might've sat for days, like sad and not knowing what to do. And now we don't have to do that because we have a way out. Um, we have a way out of any situation, any bad thing, any bad emotion, like we have a way out and we have people that are giving us life preservers that are giving us ropes that are giving us ladders to get there. Um, 
but we just have to reach. We have to reach out and we have to do our part. So I love that so, so much. Um, perfect. We have just a few more minutes. Do we have anybody else that wants to share real quick if you felt prompted to share? Is Sheree on? Yeah, I think Sheree wants to. Yay, Sheree. I'm on. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> more movies matching Sheree. Oh my gosh, my watch is talking to me. <laughs> Yay, go ahead, Sheree. Um, so I'm going to start by saying that lives make me very uncomfortable and this makes me very uncomfortable. So bear with me. Um, one of the biggest things for me is that meeting everybody made it so much more real for me. Um, and someone had, <laughs> someone had put on here that we did our ambassador letters. So Amanda had us write letters to ourselves once we're ambassador, what is that going to mean for us? How is that going to look? And at the time she assigned that, um, well, I guess I should start by saying I'm, I'm still a distributor. I'll be executive this month. I'm almost mapped for Diamond. I've been in for three months. Um, but I have my, I have my um, charts printed through Triple, so I'm already envisioning that. And when this ambassador ladder came about I said I'm not ready to think that far yet but of course since then now it's been on my mind what am I going to write in this letter and um, I am thinking of things and I am thinking of ways I can help more people and um, help more animals because I'm a bleeding heart um, so it it is becoming more real to me and I'm going to get that written and then read it every month like we're supposed to but it just it really just made everything that much more concrete um knowing that everybody all the way up has the fears that they have because we all know that we're human but you know we don't think about Amanda or Jennifer or Rachel having fears because they're all there for us they're all inspiring they're all positive they're all so supportive which i'm telling people all the time um and then one of my one of the most interesting <laughs> things for me was um when we did the the project where we put the word on our hat the one that came through the most for me was being inspirational and now i'm getting emotional <laughs> and um you know, I was going with, I'm going to meet all of our top leaders. They're so great. They're so inspirational. And to learn that you guys saw me as inspirational was, it's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> That's all. I don't want to cry anymore. I just love you. And I remember when you came, you came right when we were doing Burning Our Fears. And I just remember you getting up there and I was just blown away. Like you came storming in with, I don't, I think you had like 16 points. You had signed like DTs and LCs. And I'm like, who's Sheree? Like, who is this? I want to meet her. I can't wait. And you got up there and you were like, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going to the top and I'm taking my family with me. I'm taking my son. I'm, and I was like, so moved and touched by that. You came in, you knew what you wanted and you know, you're going to get there and you have a plan to do that. And not only did you love on our babies, but you loved on us. Like you're so wise and you were just incredible. I just loved getting to know you. Mil military background, I'm going to retire with the military and retire with It Works. And what an amazing, amazing, you know, retirement that's going to be and all, all that you can tell us about, you know, your life journey is just, it's, it's awesome. So you are inspirational. And that goes to show we have so much to offer as we continue to learn and grow and allow ourselves to just be our raw selves because people buy into us. People buy into our story and our, we have stories to tell. We have things that need to be said. We have journeys that, that are inspirational and yours is one of them. And I can't wait to continue to have you on Zooms and, and to tell tell people about that. And you're going diamond soon. You are going diamond. <laughs> I love you, Sheree. Thank you. All right. Did I get everyone that wanted to talk tonight? I'm so glad that we did this. I'm so glad. Sheree, you're frozen. So I hope I'm not frozen. Let me know if I'm frozen. 
Um, I just loved hearing from everyone and just the resounding um, message of we just got to keep going. We got to keep learning and growing and doing the things that we know to get us to where we want to be. Um, and the days we get discouraged, we have a whole tribe of people that can help us, you know, get out of that. And we have a whole um, team page of things that can help us get to where we're going. Those daily calls, those units, Zooms. If you if you put in the search bar um, video thread, you can watch Zooms. We have personal development. All those things are going to help us continue to stay on track and to grow. And in turn, God's going to bless us in our time and our season to continue to grow our teams and continue to to be those those world shakers. And um, Amanda, we're so grateful to to be on this team with you. And we can't wait um, to hear from you tonight and kind of have you close out this meeting. So go ahead, honey. All right. I just loved hearing everything you guys had to say. It was so amazing. And I feel like everything you guys had to say, like I took away all of those moments as well and all of those um, you know, aha moments, like no matter how long you've been in this business, like, I feel like we all have those fears. Like we talked about, we all have those doubts and no matter at what rank you are, I think some of the things that I really got to see and kind of like took a, like a step back is I saw myself in like every single one of you guys. And, you know, and it relates to every single one of you guys who, who didn't get to go to our retreat. Um, I saw myself in all of you guys and, um, it was so funny as I came home and I was telling Derek, my husband that, um, you know, when we went to our first, when I went to my first conference, it was our first event. And I remember, um, I think I had like two people um, also go to this event. And I remember like looking back and thinking like those top leaders are like, they have huge teams. Like they do all this, like they have huge teams going. And I remember thinking like, I can't wait till I have huge teams to do this stuff with, or I can't wait till I have a lot of people that I can like do this stuff with. And so, and I remember like, I heard so many people saying like, man, I can't wait till my team gets bigger so I can treat them to a retreat. And it just brought me back to like, where I was because we literally all start at the very beginning, right? We all pay that $99 or whatever the startup fee you guys paid. We all pay that to start this business. And then what happens is that we start to then, um, some of us do, some of us don't. Those people who do start to see that vision and see what this can do for them, then they start to apply this business. They start to become a student of this business and whatever you need to do to figure it out how to learn this business, we start to learn this business. And I kept saying, we just put one foot in front of the other and we start to grow. And there is literally no, no way you can fill out this unless you quit. Um, and so, that was one of my aha moments is it's just that like I saw myself in every single one of you guys and it just it just validates the fact that no matter where you're at where you're starting or you know anything you guys paid that ninety nine dollar startup startup or whatever it was and you guys can get to the very top you guys are just like me we just started the same spot the only difference is that I've been in this a little bit longer and I did not give up and so you guys just have to know like. If you don't give up, if you just keep going, there's only one way to go and that's to the top. So that's one thing. And then the other thing that I really just, which I already knew this, but it just really touched my heart so much was how amazing our corporate is. Like how amazing we are and how blessed we are to be a part of this family because there are not, there is not another company like us. And so to have our corporate team take in their weekend, you know, away from their family, away from trips that like, I know Pam was just going out of town, you know, away from like their kids, you know, um, just away from their schedule and to really pour into our team, to pray over our team and to give us their undivided attention. Like it just solidified how incredible blessed we are with our company that we are part of. And, you know, I think it was just so powerful to see that and have them just pour into us. And so my sole mission, you guys, is, you know, like I'm ambassador, obviously our team is ambassador, you guys, but we're not done. Like we just started and I feel like we just have so much to do. And when Cami got on that, that zoom and she said, Hey, top, you know, top 10 team, it was just like, 
Like I believe, I believed it. And I'm like, we are a top 10 team. And so we're going to just start saying that from now on, I'm going to put it on our timeline, like, or on like our picture or whatever. Like we are a top team and we do together we rise. And you know what, when we become a top team, guess what happens? There's so many people that, you know, that now start to join. There's so many people that make that that ruby ring, that emerald, that diamond, that double diamond, like there's so much growth and that's what we need. We are one team. And so uh, I just loved hearing from every single one of you guys because I had an, envi I visioned every single thing for you guys. I prayed about it every single day that this, you know, retreat, re retreat would just bring so much to you guys. Like your mindset, your heart, your spirit, just everything. And that you guys would come in a certain way and walk out a certain way. So I'm just so thankful that I was even able to do something like that. And for those of you guys who couldn't go, I hope that you guys can see the vision through everyone who went and it can pour into you guys that everyone who went now, you can now take that to your team and you can pour into them and you can serve them how you have been served over this past weekend. So, um, I just love you guys so much and you guys make me just cry so much. Um, but good, happy tears, but I'm so blessed for every single one of you guys. I pray for you guys every single day, every morning when I wake up throughout the day, um, and I know that we just have something incredible on our hands and God is literally just moving mountains for us. So, um, thank you. Hey, guys. Amanda, let's yes. end with a prayer since we didn't get to start with one. So we, we send off for the week. Does that sound good? Yeah. Go. You want to say it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. Father Love in nice. heaven. We're so grateful for the sisterhood and the brotherhood and just the love that we share as a team. We're grateful for this vehicle that has blessed our life and for the opportunity to grow and learn. And we just pray as we go out this week as a, the last week of the month that we might be able to find those families and pray for those families that might need this, that, that want this $10,000 bonus, that we might be able to be a vehicle in thy hands and, and be thy hands this week as, as we approach people, as we step out of our comfort zones, as we um, share the light that's with us, within us, that others may see that light and that we might be able to help them. We are so grateful for all that we have. We're grateful for all that thou teaches us. And, and we pray for peace for the things that are um, out of our control, that things that we might be struggling with. Um, we pray for understanding. We pray for direction. Um, we love thee and we ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Courtney. You're welcome, honey. Guys, I, I love this team. I'm so happy um, that we were able to spend this time together. I know this is going to be a great week. Put your goals out there. No mountain is too high. Let's, let's carry this momentum into July. Let's slide into July with how much momentum we're going to have. Um, and let's take this team to top 10 this year. Yes. Anything else you want to say, Amanda? That's it. Okay, love you guys. Love you. Who's coming with us next year? Drop Thank it in the you. comments. Who's going on this retreat next year with us? It's Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Hi, honey bun. How are you? Good. If you're coming with us next year, we need to know how big of a house we need. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have to double up that mansion. <laughs> I know. And I'll start Amanda, looking now. <laughs> Amanda, I'm going to spill the beans, but Amanda's going to do Bye. a triple diamond trip next year, too. So those of you that are running for triple diamond, you do not want to miss that. So diamond retreat and triple diamond next year. Yeah, we're going to actually do, yeah, two rooms. We'll, we'll give all details um, closer, obviously, till next year. But there next will year. be two retreats, but one will be a top, top, top retreat, um, probably out of state, probably where there's a beach and some water. And so it will be triples and above for that one. And then we'll be, we'll, they'll do another one, like a point earner one. So um, we'll give all the information we, closer to yeah. next year. We love you. Amanda. Thank you for spoiling us. <laughs> Goodbye, man. Oh, I love you. Bye, guys. Love you. All right, guys. Yeah. All right, let's Bye, get to work. Bye, Amanda. Bye, Amanda. Bye.